Well, it's only a few days later. <laughs> you can see the floor. Just can't see the counters. It's getting a little uh, over the top again. But we are going to start looking at the seat. And I bought some different grit sandblasting material or blasting material. And uh, going to take a little stab at that. Uh, but I also need to kind of mess around with this frame and all that stuff. So we're going to take a look at that, see what comes of it and uh, kind of go from there. But we're getting close to doing a lot of painting. And so figured, well, let's open up a few more things, see what's going on and then start dialing this stuff in. We have a honeycomb wasp nest, um, and when I start pulling this back up, there is there is major rat nestage going on in here. So we're not doing this in the garage. We're taking it outside, start taking it apart, see what happens. I might. Let's see if I could try to maybe take this armrest off. That might make things easier and then uh, take it outside. Well, the good news is this is not a big rust bucket. It, uh, it's pretty clean. Besides where stuff rubbed off, it's pretty much all painted. So I'm happy about that. I got a few little areas where I still need to take a clip off. Some stuff is stuck. Just about three or four areas. Um, but yeah, pretty much need to go at it on the legs. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna clean this up pretty well, give it all new paint. And uh, um, I don't know, like depends how easy the paint comes off. If it comes off really easy, I'll probably do the whole thing down the metal. If, uh, if it doesn't, then uh, I'll get the stuff that wants to come off and then I'll seal it all up and then I'll paint it. So, but uh, what I'm really enjoying in this process is I don't know if you call it like seeing where I'm at or whatever. So like, you know, this was an unknown until I took it apart. And so now that I'm like, I don't know, 80, 90% way through discovery, if you will, like not too bad. No big things jumping out. So uh, that's making it pretty nice for me kind of knowing where I'm at. You know, that's the one thing like when you buy the car, besides not knowing what you're doing when you buy the car, if, if you've never done it before, uh, 
you know you got all new parts and then you're just trying to figure it out. In this, it's like, well, what problems do I have to put out? You know, what fires do I have to actually put out? Um, but no, we're doing pretty good. So feel good about this and uh, I need to take the armrest off like the actual armrest off the top of the bar. And then uh, from there, uh, we're gonna probably put this, uh, save it for another day type of thing. Cause this is a whole project in itself. I was thinking, well, I'm gonna be sandblasting. Maybe I'll take this out there. And, and maybe I still will. We'll see how I feel. It's getting, oh, it's just getting so hot out. It's unbelievable. Over hundred degrees outside. And for whatever reason this year, I am, I probably said that if I looked up another video, I probably said the same thing, but like I first seem to forget how hot it gets outside. So I do want to try some sandblasting on this grill. And even though it's probably a hundred degrees out, I'm just going to go out there and maybe hit it a few times and see like, is it doing any damage? And if it is like good damage, uh, then I'll go for it. If not, then it's going to take some time. Then maybe I'll come back out when it's like, 6 30 in the morning or something and work on it i could keep doing this with paint remover but i'm kind of like well if i could sandblast it in 20 minutes and be done i keep saying sandblast it's not sand but you know what i'm saying uh then i'd rather just do that and be done with it so uh the one thing i learned yesterday which really sucks is this is a padded glove box door and I was like oh I'll just take the padding off because I don't want the padding I just want a regular door and it's not a regular door it's like it's like a tray it's like a tray that that the padding sits into so this is not an actual official door it's like one half of the official door I need the other half so I guess I need to see if I can find a regular one and then uh, sell this one, I guess. So, or worst case, keep it and pad it. So I started to take the padding off and then I kind of realized what it was and I was like, uh, no, I'm just gonna leave this on here because it's kind of a nightmare. And uh, the inside of this is all glued up and I, I cleaned up the hinges because the hinges were like really bad, but it wasn't really taking the glue off or anything, so. It's kind of like, well, if you're going to do this, then just upholstery the whole thing and call it a day, which is how it was. So so that's kind of where we're at. Uh, we're going to maybe take a stab at this thing and see if we can get somewhere.
right, so we opened up the van today and we pulled out parts of the doghouse. In fact, the whole doghouse is out, including some engine parts, including the radiator. Um, so we got that part there with the fabrication. We got fabrication there. This is all original. Um, got the bench seat off, arm off, and um, I bought some heavier grit um, blasting material and totally sucks. I can't, it doesn't come out of my gun. So, uh, but I got, I had a, about a gallon of fine stuff and just started taking stuff off really easy. So I think if I buy a hundred pounds and, uh, go to town on this thing, we'll be in good shape. So that's the plan. We'll do that another time. But at least I got it all finished. I got all the, pretty for the most part, all the hair and crap off um, from the old uh, from the old stuff. You can see I kind of started blasting out the inside there, and it really just started coming off really easy. Then you can see I started taking a little little pieces here and there. Um, so what I really want to do is get the rust off this thing, and then seal it, and then paint it so um, I would love to actually paint the bottom bars orange but I don't know what I'm doing with the floor yet and so it's a little safer for me to do black pearl on on the bottom because it'll go with anything but we'll see about that we will see I'm not sure but uh, in any case we're doing pretty good. We got all our parts sanded, ready to go. The next step here is um, a water-based wax and grease remover. Now, the thing that's interesting about the wax and grease remover that's water-based is it is a hello is the uh, it's actually. Mm, more potent would be the name. The water base is more potent than the solvent based, at least in the products I'm using. So I was kind of surprised when I found that out. So we want water base on the direct metal, and then we want uh, solvent based over any kind of polyester or Bondo or anything like that. And so that way, we're not getting water introduced and soaking up into your polyester. So, two different applications, and uh, I'm learning as I go on, on some of this higher-end paint stuff. So, so I'm doing pretty good. Um, Clean the car today. It was actually the first time that I have actually put a hose to this car, and I did it very diligently. I had a full towel blocking water from going in there, full towel blocking water from going in there. Couldn't really do much about the windows, but, uh, but you know, sprayed the water a certain way because I had a lot of dust from sanding and blasting material and things like that, and it was kind of horrific, and it was scaring me. <laughs> so uh, last thing I want to do is repolish this, uh, this car. So, um, so I was able to do that. And, uh, yeah, I feel better. And I'm kind of done with blasting sides, so I'll probably still do some sanding and stuff, but uh, try to keep it out of here as much as possible.